EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the Caesars Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Los Angeles Chargers and the New Orleans Saints. Saints, Will Lutz has it teed up, and here we go from New Orleans. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. Throwing first play is Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler, and he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. That one good for 13 and a Charger first. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Herbert on first down now. Dancing to his left. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man Cubs are so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. On first and 10, Herbert. Open man is Palmer, and he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. And he'll just get rid of it. Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary. All of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Everett. Touchdown, Chargers. Gerald Everett, 33 yards. And the Chargers will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. Saints, nothing. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fields this way up at the 17, and able to get this out to the 25. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They start the drive on the ground, Kamara. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Again, it's Kamara. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Give them 18 there, and the Saints have a first down. Russ, we've learned over the years, just because a guy goes left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocks and abilities, and we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. Now a throw here to his running back. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A really good pickup of 28 yards. 
Dwayne Washington, his first carry. And a short gain here, down to the 22. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. On third down, Winston. Uh, he's got it. Touchdown. Chris Olave on the touchdown toss for Jameis Winston. And the Saints respond to that opening drive. Touchdown with one of their own. said that they wanted to get him involved early and what a way to cap their opening drive Charles we know he's one of the fastest receivers in the NFL and he showcased it on that play and when you have a guy like that you want to make sure the defense sees him right you want to see how they're going to adjust how they're going to try to guard him because they can't replicate his speed in practice unless they've got one of the few guys who are as fast as he is and all it took was one drive, he burned him, and I don't think it's the last time they called his number in this one. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Charger drive about to get going. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Down inside the 10. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Flushed out right. Hammering from the goal line. He loses the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. Hey, we can push ball security all we want here, but how about that effort on defense? Excellent job inside the red zone. Just took away at least three points by forcing that fumble. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. An extra cornerback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. Jameis to throw it. Got an open man. It's Alame. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they put field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. On first, here's Washington. Stop short of the 25, but that second effort got him a couple extra. The last run got six, now second and four. Winston. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Khalil Mack, the outside linebacker, coming up to drop him for a loss of a full 10 yards. So now after the sack, Winston and the Saints needing to figure out what to do. Tough play, third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He completes it to Alave. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 18. That's good for the Saints. From the red zone now, Winston. 
And that is incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Back to the ground, it's Kamara. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Elvin Kamara, an 18-yard touchdown run. And the Saints have moved out in front. Bullets to try to add the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Charger drive about to get going. That 7 0 lead of there is short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, LA. Austin Eckler, 67 yards. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Extra point right down the middle. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And not a good return at all. Down the inside the 10, all the way back at the 7. At their own seven yard line. Hey. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of will be, but still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Throw left side, taken in by Washington. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Jameis now on first down. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And the Chargers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. The Charger drive about to get going. After the turnover, here's Herbert. Allen's got it complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Well, the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Buying time to his left. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. That was well played, but that's also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. This is certainly a team that has proven it wants to target its backs through the air. Defensively, they were aware of that, and certainly were prepared on that throw. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. 
And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. Gerald Everett as time expires in the first half. And the Chargers have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Extra point splits the uprights, and that will take us to the end of the first half of play. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL. And it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gaughan. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. Fielded just outside the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. And somehow he's going to get a yard out of this as he fought through that first contact. It's second down. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Up the middle they go, Washington. And not much room to speak on. He'll get about three up to the 41. They are in need of six yards here as they hope to move the chains. To throw is Winston. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The appears are going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. Play action. It's Herbert. He finds his target, Allen. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. Give him another one right back to Allen. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the 11 yard line. This out quickly to Williams. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. A charger first there as Herbert finds Williams. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Now Herbert off the bootleg, rolling to his right, to the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. Well, they try to get him into space coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. The crowd here in the dome making things difficult. Third and goal. To the air again, Herbert. On the screen, this is Eckler. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. So they wind up losing five yards on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. 
And this one is right through. And the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Up to midfield. 30. 10. 5. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Saints. It's been a back and forth game. A lot of points on the board. And that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's going. Yeah, you've seen both teams go at it. And as you just pointed out, both of them are down the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming. And it often is the case when it comes to special teams. Lux with the extra point. And that cuts the lead to three, 24-21. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee. Maybe a yard shot of there at the 24. The Charger drive about to get going. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They've been trying and trying, but they haven't sacked him yet. He's been able to get away and make plays. Tried to make another one downfield right there but to no avail. They'll have to keep up the pursuit, though, and not let him get hot. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Okay, On first down, Justin Herbert. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And the Saints will take over here just shy of the 30. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. He'll start with a give to Kamara. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They run from the shotgun with Washington. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Working out of the gun, Winston. The pass caught by Alave. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Winston now to throw on first down. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Sebastian Joseph Day breaking through for the sack. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. I like the thinking there because right after a sack, it could be a great time to call for a screen to your running back and use the eagerness of the defense against him. Able to gain some positive yards out of this one and make things a little bit easier for him on third down. Third and long for Winston. Throw left side complete. That's Johnson. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. 
The kick by Lutz is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, we knew this had the potential to be a tight game, but with less than three minutes to play, couldn't be any tighter. We're all tied. All locked up, right? And this next drive is going to tell us everything we need to know about this game because I want to see how they come out with the football. Are they going to be aggressive and attack downfield? You still got a two-minute warning to come up. Are they going to be conservative and try and hold on and maybe just get to overtime? Well, a good-looking return set up here. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Charger drive about to get going. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best of the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you, an interception's result. So. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler with his second touchdown of the night. And the Chargers strike quickly to take the lead here in the fourth. Point after, right down the middle. And they will take a seven-point lead. Chargers 31, Saints 24. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. Taken from about the 12. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with... Oh, and that's going to be a costly one. It's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And the Chargers have just about sewn up this football game. First and ten and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. I do think it's fair to say they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Give the sack to David Onyemata, the product of Nigeria by way of Canada. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. Herbert forced out to his left. He'll get this to Eckler. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. Fielded just inside the 20. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Well, this offense trying to change the script here a little bit, C.D. Trailing on the scoreboard in the last time out on the very first play of the drive, they threw that interception. And he definitely saw his coaches, teammates come over to him on the sideline, tried to help him shake it off because in this game, his team is down right now. So it's important to make sure you get some confidence back for both the quarterback and the entire offense. Otherwise, those mistakes could continue to pile up. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, 
He needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. With the late lead, Herbert's going to throw it, sliding out of the pocket. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Paulson and Debo. And the Saints are going to take over once again with a foot down at their own 20 yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Charles, still a one possession game. Remember, it could have been two after they opted to go for it on fourth down in their own territory. Didn't get it, but their defense holds strong, and so this is a huge possession coming up here. You said something right about that, partner. A lot of people look at them going for it on fourth down as a failure, but they didn't get it. But there's also their way of saying, hey, we have confidence in our defense because it went out and held them. Got the ball right back for them. So nice stand for them. Momentum can swing. Oh, he forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Picked off by Khalil Mack. And the Chargers have just about sewn up this football game. Agreed, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. Now Herbert. And incomplete on the deep ball. He took a shot there before. Was that in with eyes from my viewpoint? Coverage was awfully tight. How did he get away with that one not being picked off? Now it's Herbert. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 